Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss past paper questions from May-June 2020 theory. As always we do, we will discuss these questions in detail so you can improve your understanding of practical skills in physics and also you can have better understanding of these questions. Let's study together, let's improve together. Total time for this exam is 1 hour and 20 minutes. You need to answer all questions and total mark for this paper is 50. Question 1 says, a student made measurements of the ruler shown in the figure. She used a micrometer screw gauge to measure the thickness T at the center of the ruler. The diagram below shows the reading on the micrometer. State the value of T shown on the micrometer. So for this question, simply we need to understand how to read micrometer. So the reading on micrometer, so you have to follow these steps. Reading on micrometer will be equal to the reading on linear scale, reading on linear scale. So we can say reading on linear scale plus least count, least count times reading on circular scale so we can simply say reading on circular scale circular scale so this is the main concept you need to understand least count times so first of all we need to read what is on the main scale plus linear scale or you can say mean scale times least count for micrometer least count is 0.5 O one millimeter, o point o one millimeters. So this is o point o one millimeter times what is reading on the circular scale. Now, first of all, this is our linear scale. On the linear scale, we have zero. So this is o point five, and this is one, and this is one point five. So we can say this is one point five m m. Now from the circular scale we have 20, this is 21 and this is 22. So this line is 22. So we can simply write down this one here, this is 22. So we have here 1.5 plus if we multiply this one, this is the number of divisions actually, we have 22. So we will get this is 0.22. Now simply if we add these two, we will get this is 1.72 mm. So our final answer for this one has to be 1.72 mm. It's better we can add 1 zero here. So this is 1.50. So the final answer for this one is 1.72. So this is how you need to read. So reading on the linear scale, so this is in millimeters. And here reading on circular scale these are the number of divisions so when we move this one by one division means one division on circular scale it will move by 0.01 mm so it has been moved by 22 divisions so we have to multiply least count with number of divisions so it is equal to 0.22 and this is the final answer so that's pretty much you need to understand how to read micrometer that's all nothing more than that so that's the main idea and when we close this one also sometimes they can ask you to check for zero error if there is no zero error when we close this one this line has to be on this here and the zero on this one has to be in front of this so it means there is no zero error second part says determine the percentage uncertainty in this value of t and here we are talking about only one measurement when we talk about single measurement so we can calculate percentage uncertainty simply by the half resolution we can simply write down by half resolution divided by the measurement divided by measurement so if we have only one measurement and we have to multiply this one by 100 so half resolution the least count of micrometer is 0 0.01 so we need to divide this one by 2 and divided by the measurement we have 1.72 and we need to multiply this one by 100 and if we solve this one 
we will get 0.29 percent so this is percentage uncertainty but if we have repeated data means we have more than one readings means we have repeated data then we can use half range method we can use half range method half range half range will be equal to uncertainty so that will be equal to uncertainty half range half range simply means that we will take the maximum reading minus we will take the minimum reading and we will divide by two and that will be the uncertainty so that will be the uncertainty and if we need to calculate percentage uncertainty so let me write down percentage uncertainty then we will take the uncertainty from here so the uncertainty we have calculated using half range method and we will divide that by the mean value of data mean value and we will multiply this by 100 so you need to understand if data is repeated you can use half range method if just one measurement you can take half resolution third part says explain how she should reduce a source of error in this measurement of t so first of all we can talk about sources of error one possible error can be due to zero error so she has to check for zero error and also error can be due to over tightening over tightening so it's very important when we place any object in micrometer we have to close this one gently when we feel it is almost closed then we have to use this ratchet so we have to use this ratchet and when we hear the sound we should stop tightening so we have to use this ratchet knob and when we hear the sound we need to stop zero error can cause systematic error so this will cause systematic error so if we avoid zero error we can minimize systematic error over tightening we can overcome this problem by using ratchet by using ratchet knob for this question we have to mention one point and we need to talk about how we can minimize so we can talk about this part even you can discuss about these two points as well let me show you the answer how you can write in your answer in your answer you can talk about these points you can say check for zero error on the micrometer to remove systematic error so if you write on these two points you will get two marks Part B says the student balanced the ruler on a pivot as shown in the figure and recorded the position of the center of gravity of the ruler. It recorded the center of gravity. So we have the marking of center of gravity on this ruler. The student has a 20 gram mass. Describe how the student should determine an accurate value for the mass of the ruler using a 20 gram mass and the apparatus shown. Pretty straightforward question. So first of all, simply we can imagine we have the meter rule. So we can place this over meter rule here and we can place the pivot under this one other than center of gravity. Center of gravity in this case will be somewhere here. So this is the center of gravity. So the mass of meter rule we can imagine is concentrated at center of mass or we can say the weight of meter rule is acting vertically downwards at this point so this will produce clockwise moment and we can also say this distance let's say this is equal to d1 to balance this one we can place over mass somewhere here so this is 20 gram mass 20 gram mass and we can also measure this distance from the pivot when it is balanced so by using principle of moments we can say this moment is counterclockwise and this moment is clockwise so the counterclockwise moment has to be equal to clockwise moment so here we have 20 gram this is 20 gram gg will be cancelled so this is 20 gram and here we have d2 this one has to be equal to w w is representing the weight g is common so simply you can use the mass of the meter rule mass of the meter rule times d1 so we can find out value of m means we can find out mass of the meter rule and answer will be in grams so this is how we can figure out but for 
accuracy we will repeat this experiment for four times five times and then we will take the average so these are the points simply we need to understand so we have to repeat this experiment for a few times to improve the accuracy so this is very important point when we design any experiment it's always better to repeat the measurements and sketch the graph so we can improve the accuracy or we can minimize uncertainty to improve accuracy and these are the points simply you need to mention in your answer now let me show you the answer or you can write on your answer in your answer you can talk about these points you can say add 20 gram mass a distance from the pivot and move the ruler to find the new balance point so this is one balance point here we will find another balance point means when it is balanced measure the distance from the pivot to the center of gravity means d1 and measure the distance from the pivot to the center of 20 gram mass as d2 calculate the mass of the ruler using the principle of moments means use this principle repeat measurements of distance far this is far different positions of 20 gram we can move the position of this one and we can find the balance point again and finally we can calculate the mean value of the mass so this is how you need to answer pretty straightforward question question two says a student investigated the properties of a solar cell he illuminated the solar cell using the operators shown in the figure far part a1 explain the purpose of the convex lens so we need to explain why we are using convex lens in this setup if no convex lens the light from the filament lamp it will just simply it will spread out it will spread out so in order to concentrate the light from the filament lamp we are using this convex lens so the light will be concentrated on this solar cell so that's the main purpose to concentrate the light so we can simply say to concentrate the light on solar cell so in our answer we can write on these two points because this question has two marks the first you can say lens is used to concentrate light on the solar cell you will get one mark the light from the filament lamp spreads out if we don't use convex lens so these two points you have to mention in your answer second part says the power supply provided a constant 12 volt potential difference across the filament bulb describe two more ways to keep the light intensity incident on the solar cell constant means how we can keep the light intensity constant intensity depends on distance so the distance between this filament lamp and the solar cell this distance we also need to keep constant so we can say keep distance constant so we can say keep distance constant so this distance has to be constant and also the angle keep same angle same angle between filament lamp and the solar cell so we can say keep same angle and also we can do this experiment in dark room so we can say do this experiment in dark room to control background light so we can say to control background light so first of all we can say to control background light background light do experiment in dark room so we can say do experiment in dark room close the windows close windows and curtain close windows and curtains we can talk about these points we can also say keep distance same as we mentioned before keep distance keep distance between lamp between lamp and cell constant keep distance constant we can also say keep same angle keep same angle between lamp and cell between lamp and cell this question has two marks so you can mention any two points part b says the student investigated how the potential difference across the solar cell varied with current through the solar cell 
The light intensity incident on the solar cell was kept constant during the investigation. The circuit diagram for the investigation is shown below. FAR part 1 add to the diagram to show how the ammeter and voltmeter should be connected in the circuit. So for this one we need to measure current passing through the solar cell so simply we can connect over ammeter here so it will measure current passing through the solar cell. We also need to measure potential difference across the solar cell so we can connect over voltmeter here across the solar cell. So this is simply how you can connect voltmeter and you can connect ammeter. So ammeter has to be in series with solar cell and voltmeter has to be in parallel with solar cell. So quite straightforward question. For the second part, question is asking us to suggest a reason for using a fixed resistor in the circuit. This fixed resistor. So why we are using this one? This fixed resistor sometimes we call this is a safety resistor. So this one is the safety resistor. The purpose of this one is to limit the maximum current in the solar cell. To limit, we simply we can say the purpose of this one is to limit maximum current. Means current cannot exceed certain maximum value to limit maximum current in the circuit. So this is the purpose of safety resistor in this circuit. And this question has only one mark. So if you write on this point, you will get one mark. So this is a proper answer you can write down. You can say to limit the maximum current in the solar cell. Part C says solar cells are used as a source of electrical power. Describe two advantages of using solar cells to power a small water pump in a garden. Main advantage of solar cells is no emission of greenhouse gases. So no emission of greenhouse gases. So this is one main advantage. And second, they use renewable energy source. Renewable energy source means they take energy from the sun and the third one can be no means wiring means we don't need means wiring if we simply have a solar cell this is our solar cell we can place this anywhere in the desert and we can connect this one with the water pump and water pump will start working so we don't need means wiring as we have in our house so these are some main advantages of solar cell now let me show you the answer how you can write on your answer so this is how you can write on your answer and in your answer you can mention these points if you write on these points you will get two marks this question has two marks you can mention any two of them so you will get two marks and that's all for this video we will stop this video here we have done two questions from this paper and remaining two questions i'll be uploading very soon by today if this video was helpful please like and subscribe and also for more help and for extra resources join patreon see you next video